The popular reality show Physical 100 continues to be the talk of the town even after its recent conclusion. While the end crowned one ultimate winner with a whooping 300 million Korean won, we are still suffering hangover effects from one of the best reality shows in the recent times. So when is season 2 coming and what do we know so far about it? <laughs> Physical 100 featured 100 men and women in prime physical condition, including South Korea's ex-Olympians and former Special Forces soldiers performing absurdly difficult challenges. Quickly storming up Netflix's top 10 streaming list, the competition made its debut at the end of January and has become a sleeper hit, with many viewers considering it a reality version of Squid Game. One of the biggest controversies surrounding this show is regarding the winner, Woo Jin Young. Viewers of the show apparently took to online communities to voice their doubts about the fairness of the final rope pulling game. It seems that Jin Young's endless rope seemed easier to pull than his opponent, Jung Hae Min. These speculations caused Korean media to explore whether there could be truth in what the viewers supposedly caught on to. Netflix stated, We've confirmed with the production team at NBC that there were no technical issues with the game equipment. We'd also like to confirm that Jung Hae Min did not request a rematch. Apparently, the finale game was played three times. Jung Hae Min was winning the first round, but Woo Jin Young stopped the competition, stating an issue with his equipment. After production staff checked the equipment and found no issue, the competition was restarted after lubrication was added and the difficulty level was altered. The second also saw Jung Hae Min win, but audio issues forced the staff to request a rematch. Despite stating that he had no more strength left, production staff proceeded to convince and coerce Hae Min to another round, which he ultimately lost because he had used up his strength earlier. The production team at NBC has denied these claims and has stated that the finale did not take place in three rounds. Jung Hae Min broke his silence recently and stated the allegations were mostly true. However, he emphasized that he is not seeking first place, a rematch, or the prize money, nor does he want to blame Wu. The Olympian stated that all he had wanted from the start is for the production team to portray the competition as it actually played out. Heimin said, as an athlete, it's hard to accept looking as if I just lost in vain without the circumstances. Safe to say viewers will hope season 2 has a fair outcome for contestants. Bullying allegations against stunt actress Kim Dae-young surfaced quickly after the end of Physical 100. If you remember, Dae-young built perhaps the most stable bridge of all the teams in the second quest, which contributed massively for the victory of her team. Four of her alleged schoolmates accused Dae-young of being a bully, claiming that they were in school together and that she constantly extorted money from them and physically bullied them as well. Taking to her Instagram recently, she denied claims of physical abuse and extortion of money. She apologized for her actions and also mentioned that it wouldn't be right for her to apologize for what she hasn't done. She was also verbally abusive to other students back in middle school but did not physically hurt nor extort things from anyone, denying any claims that she did. Talking about the show, she also expressed her disappointment regarding how all of this is negatively affecting the show, which she worked diligently for. Production team will now perhaps have to take an example from Singles Inferno, where the contestants from season 2 were put through stringent checks before being casted. As of today, two Physical 100 contestants have been accused of physical assault. While the names of these contestants haven't been revealed to the public, it's been revealed that one contestant is under investigation by the Seoul Gangnam Police on charges of assault and battery of his girlfriend as of February 23, while another was reportedly charged with making threats to his girlfriend last November. Netflix even had to cancel the show's recent and press conference in light of the many allegations the show has brought about. There's one glaring problem with the show that no one seems to be talking about, and that's the show's failure to consider the biological differences between men and women in the show. South Korean national team wrestler Jang Yoon-shil may have been eliminated from the show after the third quest, 
But she definitely went out on a high. She proved every male contestant on the show wrong by performing far better than any of them thought she would. The challenges were created in a way where women didn't stand a chance. Fans will want a fairer way to split teams in season 2 so that women are not discriminated against or just simply cast aside because they are seemingly weaker. In the second quest, Jung was the least chosen captain and hence had to end up with a team of contestants that the other captains had refused. Despite the odds stacked against them, her team of underdogs executed a wonderful task and won. When it came to forming an alliance for the third quest, Yun Chil again had trouble because no team wanted to pair up with a team that had the most women. The moment of Yun Chil asking everyone if they really thought they were ordinary women promptly went viral after its broadcast to emphasize the rampant sexism even after she had proved herself. Did you notice that content creator Agent H had been a UDT SEAL? Did alarm bells go off in your mind about another former UDT member, Kim Jin Young from Singles Inferno 2? It turns out that both these former UDT soldiers and friends had been given the same offer for joining Physical 100 and the second season of Singles Inferno. Jin Young opted for the dating show as he didn't feel very confident about him being a good fit for Physical 100. Both friends agreed that it would have been disastrous if they were both chosen for Singles Inferno instead. Fans will now hope that Jin Young will follow in the footsteps of Cha Hyun Seung by becoming the next Singles Inferno alumni to compete in Physical 100. Physical 100 gained a boost in viewership when BTS's Jungkook watched the show while he was doing a live broadcast. In a way to thank Jungkook for his support, Agent H followed him on Instagram and even posted a story. Even Chu Sung Hoon, who has previously sparred with Jungkook, <laughs> took to his stories to thank him. In fact, even the producer of the show, Jang Ho-ki, thanked Jungkook and mentioned that while he shouldn't be bragging about it, the show got at least an extra 10 million viewers since Jungkook's live broadcast. Now who thinks Jungkook should appear in season 2 as a special guest? Or perhaps his namesake, Kim Jungkook, who many fans were eagerly anticipating his appearance in the Grand Hall but alas to no avail. Physical 100 was expected to do pretty well, but nobody had thought that it would grab global attention by becoming Netflix's most watched unscripted non-English language show worldwide, such as the power of the friendships and sportsmanship depicted in the show. The show has catapulted all the wrestlers, bodybuilders, national team members, fitness influencers, and our favorite Olympians to more popularity than ever before. Given all this, it is obvious that fans were waiting for the news of the show being being picked up for another season. Even without an official renewal announcement, it seems like a second season is inevitable. If you heard the voiceover just before the end credits in the final episode, you will know it's said that their search for the perfect physique will continue. Well, we are taking that as a positive hint and going by our knowledge of how Singles Inferno came back roughly after a year, our wait for the second season of Physical 100 has just about started now. Judging by the success of the first season, it will definitely be worth the wait.